everybody so for this week's assignment I chose one really cool place to work and that place is Adobe really awesome work environment so without any further hesitation we're gonna jump right into this first of all basic overview of Adobe and what Adobe does uh, I'm sure a lot of us here know this but uh, go ahead and get started they're known for being a media and design software company created things like uh, the Adobe Creative Suite, which is probably their most popular product. They do uh, Photoshop, Illustrator, Premiere Pro, After Effects, you know, all those things that, you know, creators use software-wise to create awesome things, whether it be movies, graphics, uh, music videos, things of that nature. Anything that requires a creative input into a computer, Adobe usually has something to do with. Um, they have offices all around the world. Uh, their headquarters is based out of San Jose. Uh, the picture to the left here, this is actually their Utah office. A lot of the pictures in this presentation are going to be the Utah, Utah, Utah office. As this is one of their newer, more bigger facilities. Um, and overall, they have approximately 22,000 employees. They had 21,357 in 2018. So I can imagine that that number has only grown. All right, going forward, uh, some of the main design elements that you're going to find around uh, an Adobe office. Uh, so, you know, the, the big thing that they kind of go around is just creating a modern, fun, and creative feel consistent through the whole building. Um, they high, have a high emphasis on fitness. Um, their Utah campus here has, fit, uh, has a gym, has a, a full rock wall in it basketball court I mean they have cycling things real high emphasis on on making sure everybody's well-being is good um, one really cool thing about the Utah office is they actually have a Mario room which is a Mario themed room where they could go in and um, everything inside is going to be Super Mario they have tournaments in there and stuff they also have all kinds of other different game rooms such as ping pong table uh, air hockey things of that nature um, so a lot, like a lot of new modern tech companies, they are going to have a large cafeteria. One thing that is kind of unique that I've noticed about Adobe's though is that it's always open. I mean, you could go down any time and get any meal you want. Um, I mean, not open 24-7 obviously, but as the office is open, the cafeteria is open. Uh, one really interesting thing they have is a ball retrieval game. Uh, it's essentially uh, they have a, a ball pit at the bottom of the stair set and they use this ball retrieval game to encourage employees to use the stairs around the building so if you grab a ball and you walk it to the top of the stairs they have a really cool uh, maze ball runner game kind of similar to what you had as a kid with your marbles that actually goes from the top of the stairs to the bottom of the stairs and you know the biggest thing that they, they try to do with their design elements here besides the, obviously creating a fun modern feel is they really want to merge art and science because that's what they're all about they really want their workplace to go ahead and push their thoughts and um on that to you know everyone that's in the place and let everyone know that that's what we're here for and create a nice consistent feel uh so some of the other things for the employees that they have as opposed to just the things we previously mentioned um, they have matching grants for charity. So if an employee, you know, wants to make a donation to a charity, Adobe will match their donation. So the charity is going to be getting twice as much. They also have a board service program. It teaches employees how to be on the board of um, any nonprofit they would like. Um, so as far as family aspects, they have some really great things here as well. They have a six-month paid uh, parental leave. Um, which is pretty unheard of fertility and adoption assistance programs which is really cool I mean they're basically if you can't have a kid by yourself they're gonna ha help you have a kid and if you don't want to go through that whole uh, fertility and science part of it they will actually have they actually have an adoption assistance program that's gonna help you find a child to adopt and they're also really firm believers in equal pay if you look at some of their statistics uh, it's about 13 percent across the board um, as far as how many people are getting promoted each um, quarter so it's really really cool how they make sure that everyone is really treated equally and that's gonna be a really big um, really big thing for especially a lot of the Millennials Gen Y Gen X moving up that's something that they have strong beliefs in and something they look for an employer 
So some of the application I could do here for my own business at the bike shop, obviously I'm not going to have the scale of a huge Adobe building, but I definitely could uh, support employees um, start as like support employees starting community work programs. I think that's really cool. So if they want to go out and build trails, you know, I'll help them make a graphic. We'll put stuff on our social media. We'll give them all the this, this stuff we can, you know, whatever's financially possible. We'll definitely put the money up there to get them out there working in schools, working on trail programs, working on charity rides, whatever. Um, employee lunch program. I obviously can't have a huge cafeteria, but you know, the benefit of having a smaller staff is I could probably afford to buy lunch for these guys every other day or so, or once a week. Uh, just a nice little incentive that they could have. Um, one thing that seems super simple, but I've never seen any bike shop I worked in is create a break room that is a place to get away and be entertained. Um, you know, whether that's some video games or a ping pong table, just a place where they can just get away from bikes and all the hustle and bustle of the shop. Uh, because the, it's a very high paced environment and I would like to create a little zen zone where people could go and just relax. And then also to finally wrapping it up, just an employee bike program. Um, obviously we already give incentives to our employees to buy bikes, you know, they have really good discounts on them, but I think we could even take that a step further and maybe give them, you know, match what they're going to pay into it or do layaway programs for employees, uh, just to get more of our employees out on bikes, just in general and keep them happy because at the end of the day, we're all there because that's what we love. So we want to support the things that we love for not only us, but our employees as well. All right, well, that's going to go ahead and sum it up. Here, Here's a little uh, quick glance at my references. If you guys have any questions, feel free to reach out. Thank you.